Let's go, let's go, let's go. Welcome to another edition of Chalk Talk with your host, me, Josh Brown. I have Musselman High School's head football coach, Coach Thomas, here with us, with us today. How you doing, Coach? Hey, I'm real good, man. Yeah, having a having a real good, real good day. Thanks for having me on. It's, hey, it sounds like you guys are having a real good year, sitting at four and one, just coming off a big win against then uh, number two ranked the Mohegans of Morgantown. Um, how you guys? How do you think you guys are doing this good from a coaching standpoint? You know, we we talked a lot in the off season just about mental toughness and about you know what happens when adversity hits and kind of you know just the fact that you know you can do anything when things are laid out and things going perfect but you know you're kind of defined as a as an athlete and as a person about how you how you respond to hard times so we've really you know we really worked a lot on kind of the mental training and and, and you know just building uh as far as you know the mental toughness part goes so I, I think that's really kind of contributed here to our four and one start I mean obviously you know sitting there we played three you know we've won three straight games by a combined eight points so that's just that's that's crazy man so you know I, I do though I attribute a lot of that to our players and just the fact that you know when things are, are tough and things are difficult they don't really get rattled and they just keep playing yeah I was looking at, at your schedule and I seen where you guys had some close games that you were able to pull off so then I was starting to wonder like coach do you have a veteran type team that are used to winning or is this a younger group that's that's learning to win early what type of team do you have as far as, far as in your class was yeah, I mean, I, th I think overall we're a really young team, you know, like like up front, like our offensive line, we're starting four sophomores and a junior. So we are, yeah, we're, we're super young, um, you know, and, and, and even across the board, even some of our skill guys, you know, we, we got – we got a, a couple kids that are playmaking for us that are that are some sophomores. Um, so overall, um, I think you know the, the overall landscape is is a young team. But then you know I I think everything starts with seniors and leadership from seniors. And we do you know we do have a small group of seniors. We only have ten seniors, but um, you know out of those seniors, we got a couple pieces that. Uh, really kind of lead the way, you know, you got like, you know, Ray Adamas is, is, is one of our big names, um, you know, big playmaker and Ray, Ray's a kid that, um, you know, he, he doesn't, he doesn't get a big head. Um, you know, he comes out to practice and he practices really hard. And I think, you know, that, that kind of leadership as, as an example sets the tone for some of those younger kids. And, uh, you know, Baden Hartman uh, kind of leads the way for us. And he's kind of that kid too, that, um, you know, he, he just kind of sets the tone uh, and his confidence kind of bleeds out to everybody else on the team. So I think we kind of got a mix, but, you know, I, I do think it starts with those seniors that, that are setting the tone and how they want things to go. Well, it's always good to have senior leadership. And I, and I know that you guys are going up against a four and two Hedgesville, um, which is really good. So tell me what is it like for the kids to be able to have that, that atmosphere where they're, I think everybody in the Eastern Panhandle is, is winning, you know, has good culture. And you guys get to get a primetime game against a winning opponent in the middle of the season, which is right down the road. So what is it like playing Hedgesville year in and year out, but this year knowing that it's two ranked opponents coming into the matchup? Yeah, I mean, I think it's exciting anytime you play those EPAC games. Just, you know, it, it's a little bit more, um, I, I don't know, I don't want to say the word chippy, but it's a little bit more like, you know, the kids know each other and, you know, they, the kids have grown up with each other. So, you know, it's a, there's a little bit more familiar, familiar familiarity with the game just you know the kids you know even when you watch film not just Hedgesville you know you play any of these schools in the EPAC and the kids will say like oh you know you watch film and they'll, they'll be in the film sessions like oh that's so and so and you know yeah. oh well, he played for that team growing up and you know they they know those kids a little bit more but you know I guess the second part of your question is you know you get here later into the year you don't want to play you know I've coached long enough now where you know we've had some really good teams at Musselman and we'll be later in the season and we'll be you know, um, seven and oh, seven and one, something like that. And you'll play a one and seven team. Yeah, it's no fun. The atmosphere. I mean, no, nobody wants to be a part of that. So you want to yeah. play good teams and you want the exciting atmosphere. So, you know, I think you put the two and two together, just the fact that it's an EPAC game and it's a team that's been successful in the EPAC. I think we'll have a really good environment on Friday night. Well, you kept the tradition going on at Musselman. You've been there for a couple of years and every, I seem like every year you guys are, are fighting in the top six to, you know, never really far out of it. So you guys are always, you know, there for the taking. You're always there to um, be a top tier team. Can you just talk to me about what is the Musselman way that you guys 
seem to prepare every week that, you know, gives you that consistency of, you know, being a top team every year, every year, year in and year out that you've been there? Yeah, I mean, I think some of it starts with just the the mindset of, um, you know, and I, I don't, I don't, I don't, how do I say this? I don't, I'm not patting myself on the back and saying I'm, I'm the greatest, but, you know, I, I do think that, you know, a head coach is so much in, in, in front of the team and, and, you know, some of the teams, uh, get that mindset. I'm, I'm, I'm a really competitive person. I'm a really fun person. You know, I like to joke around, I like to have fun, but at the same time, you know, I'm the type of person that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to compete, you know, my 10 year old son, if he, if he picks up the basketball and says like, Hey dad, let's go outside and shoot a little bit. And we'll put one up playing one-on-one or horse. Like I'm trying to beat him. Like I'm not yeah. <laughs> uh, one, one day, one day he'll catch up with dad yeah. and I'll probably pull a hamstring and he'll just, he'll just toast me. But you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm trying to win, man. And, and I, uh, I try to get that to the kids. I try to get to the kids where, you know, and, and I think, you know, I, we do have a mindset in our program that every game that we play, uh, we go out and we think we're going to win uh, every single game. And, and you know, I, I I don't know how it is any other way. You know, that's the only way that I would want it. But, uh, you know, we just have that competitive mindset. You know, I, I think I think some of that starts with how you practice, how you prepare, um, how you train, um, you know, getting, getting the kids to understand that, uh, you know, if you're not going to work hard, you're not going to play. And we really have yeah. that mindset at Musselman. You know, we don't have we don't have any kids in our program that, you know, will miss two straight weeks of, of a training session and then show up and we'll say like, oh, hey, man, get in with the get in with the starting unit. Like, that's just not that's not our mindset. You know, yeah. if you're not going to work, you know, we're going to play the hardest kids that work hard. And we we're lucky enough at Musselman that really over the past um you know, I've been the head coach 10 years. I really want to say the past probably six or seven years that the mindset's really been, if you're not going to be one of the hardest workers, then you're, you're you know, you're not, you're not going to be a player for us. Yeah, that's understandable. Then going into this week's matchup, um, you know, like I said, you guys are four and one, heads was four and two. What type of, um, what type of things did you think that they can bring a little bit of uh, problems to your defense for being with, with their offense? Like what, what, what is the key thing that you think you guys have to stop going into this week's game? Yeah, they, uh, you know, as a team in general, they're aggressive and they're really hard nosed. And, uh, you know, I, I, I know coach Faircloth, uh, you know, me and him went to school together. We grew up together. So, you know, I know coach Faircloth and that's, that's just kind of what kind of person he is. He's a hard nosed type of guy. So his team kind of takes the, takes the mentality that he has. So as a team in general, they're really hard nosed, they're aggressive, they're physical, uh, that, you know, they play, I, I went and watched from last Friday during our bye week, I watched them play Spring Mills and seeing them in person, you know, they really play hard and then they really, you know, they really get after it. I think as a team that presents some problems because any team like that that's going to play that hard, they're going to make good things happen. Um, as far as an offense, you know, uh, as far as what they bring offensively, they have a lot of weapons, you know, they have, they have three receivers, number one, number two, and number three, ironically, um, are all really good players. And, and the quarterback's a really good athlete. The quarterback's a three sport athlete there, uh, the Ruess kid, uh, you know, he's a really good quarterback. Uh, he's a good basketball player. And then I know he's a good baseball player too. So, you know, anytime you get an athlete like that, uh, you know, you got to be aware of what he's going to do because he can make plays. So they present a lot of problems, uh, you know, just with, you know, just naming those four, um, you know, that can make plays kind of really at any time. All right, all right, coach. Um, let's just, I just want to get just two names, just one on offense and one on defense who can be impact players for you guys going into this week's. It's a homecoming, correct? Yeah. So, big yeah. week for the kids. Uh, who could be that homecoming hero, both on the offense and defensive side of the ball? Oh, man. Um, I, I don't know. You want me to go like off the grid here a little <laughs> bit? Or you want me to play? Uh, yeah, what? Yeah, go off the grid a little bit. Yeah. Um, you know, one name offensively that that I think is going to break out is Logan Shelton. Um, you know, Logan's Logan's a kid that had a really good season last year for us. And, you know, this year he's had good games and he's done good things. Like he returned the opening kickoff for a touchdown against Morgantown. So it's not like he's a, you know, it's not like it, it's, it's, you know, not like he hasn't done anything for us, but he really hasn't had that game where he's just completely completely exploded um and he had he had a couple of those last year so you know I'm gonna go with Logan I think Logan's a, a kid that um is, is gonna have a big game for us uh defensively man we get we got um man defensively we really got I, I I really like our defense just because you know I don't I don't think we have like a, a I think we do have a couple standout players but um I'm gonna go with Kobe Moneypenny and Kobe's actually our leading tackler 
But, you know, sometimes, you know, those, those guys, those linebackers kind of get lost in the middle and, you know, they're kind of hard to see. But Kobe's a kid that, um, you know, when I count up the tackles and I go through and do our stats, he's just always around the football. Um, and he's a really aggressive, really physical kid. Um, kind of what you want out of a middle linebacker where he he's smart and he knows what's going on. But, he, you know, he's at the same time, he's a little wild and he's a little crazy. <laughs> yes. what you need out of that linebacker. You got to so. be, you gotta be yeah. playing middle linebacker. You got to be. And because yeah. I think the last thing I want to talk to you about and just ask you because, you know, growing up in the Eastern Panhandle, um, Musman is known for the hammer. Mm -hmm. um, what does that mean to your program? You know, every kid comes to gets experience. I know, you know, it's at the 50 yard line of all your games as you know, I, I was on the opposite side of seeing it. And so like, what does it mean to you, to the tradition, to the album to Inwood, to Bunker Hill? What does that mean to you guys in your program? Yeah, I mean, I man, this is a loaded question. Cause I could, I could probably talk about this one for about 10 minutes straight. Um, so, you know, there, there was, there was, there's a story going around years and years and years ago. Um, and I was actually an assistant coach that we took it and slammed the hammer down at midfield when we played Martinsburg one year. And I've heard people talk about that story and say that story. And, you know, to me, that's, you know, that's, that's not what we want it to stand for. Um, you know, it, it's, you know, to me, it, it's the hammer is a thing that, you know, as, I, as I've been the head coach, the hammer is not a thing that and Coach Price was like this, too, when he was a head coach. It's not it's not it's not an emblem of look at me. Look what we got. We're going to shine this around, you know, in, in front of your face. You know, they've had they've had the hammer uh, since 1980. You know, Coach Price uh, made the hammer in 1980. They actually got the idea from the Philadelphia Eagles at the time and um, kind of took it from them and kind of made it their own. So really the hammer to us, you know, it, it's 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 more of a thing. What we do now is we bring it out of the locker room with us. And, you know, the kids carry – they carry it down to practice every day and they put it on the side of the field during practice. Um, it, during a game, they'll bring it out in a game and they'll put it on the sideline with us. You know, it's really not a – it's really not like a wave it around, look at us. It's, it's more of a mentality of, a, of you know, you, you go out and watch somebody work in construction that are sitting there, um, with, you know, working hard labor, um, just, you know, just that, that grind of the daily work. And, and a lot of them have sledgehammers that they're sitting there swinging, you know, breaking stuff up, you know, working. And that, that's really what we try to get. Uh, we try to get that blue collar mentality of, you know, we're going to come out and, you know, you might beat us on the scoreboard, but, you know, we don't want to get physically beaten up front or we don't want to get, you know, mentally drained. We want to have that hard nosed mentality that, hey, we're going to bring our hammer to work every day and we're going to get after it. You well, know, that's nice, you know, because we always wanted to wonder from the outside looking in. So I appreciate the perspective on what it actually means, Coach. I want to wish you good luck as you take on Hedgesville. Continue, you know, with your success, being a top program, and can continue to mold in young men. That's what we like to see here at Home Team Sports. We want to see our student athletes succeed both on and off the field. And you guys, you know, are just another way of showing it to us that you guys can do that each and every week and we appreciate you we look forward to having you guys friday night and we want you the best of luck yes sir yeah i appreciate it. yeah i appreciate all you guys do man the coverage that you you know you give these kids that means a uh, means a lot kind of getting the kids out there and getting the kids seen a little bit so i appreciate what you guys do of course you know you coach for the kids and we we do what we can for the kids and uh again best of luck yes sir thanks josh i appreciate it man you're welcome